When the talented singer Susan Jack sang Which Way You Goin' Billy with the Poppy family, the song topped the music charts and kept her on a successful musical ride. About a year ago, she took a not-so-fun ride to the hospital with her real brother, Bill, Billy, a brother who willingly gave up one of his kidneys to help Susan keep on rocking. It is my pleasure to welcome Susan Jacks and her brother, uh, Bill Peskovitz, Billy Peskovitz, <laughs> to Studio 4 to tell us more. I keep saying Bill or Billy because I bet, now that you're all growing up, you'd rather be called Bill. <laughs> it's Bill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I call him Billy. <laughs> I bet you do. I mm -hmm. do. So where are you in the pecking order of this large family of yours, the Pesklovitzes? I'm the second oldest, and you're the third youngest. And I'm the third, third youngest. youngest. Mm. So. Okay. Of, of eight. Of eight. Yeah. And who sings and who doesn't? I know you do. I, I do. You know, um, I, Bill, I don't know why he never took up singing, because he had, I heard him singing in my car when he was really young. He was fabulous. He had a lovely voice. Never kept it up, though. I don't know why. I mean, I was Too one shy. of those voices that I knew was <laughs> magical. Sure. You know, it was. So it's in, in the family it, genes. So. It's just I everybody so. didn't sing. Yes. Right. So it wasn't like the Christmas that you see on television? <laughs> where the, the Osmonds, everybody, no. you know, everybody no. takes a <laughs> Not the Osmonds. No. So, but you were singing from the time you were probably what six, seven, or seven on the radio. Oh well, actually, yeah, probably about then. Um, mm -hmm. And I was always singing. As they used to get really angry at me because they were watching cartoons and I never shut up. I just sang <laughs> all the time. Mm -hmm. So they bugged me about that. I know. bet they did. As good brothers should. Oh, I think so. Yeah. And I hear tell you have a very good brother because he gave you his kidney. He did. Mm. Yes, he did. He was, he was pretty incredible. When I, in 2009, my kidney started to nosedive. They just dropped. And um, I knew there was something wrong. I knew there was several years ago, but they couldn't find anything. They put me through tests, and at first they couldn't find anything. And uh, when they did, they weren't sure how, sometimes your kidneys can repair themselves. But it depends on, you mm -hmm. know, on what you've got. And um, ultimately, mine didn't repair themselves. They just slowly got worse. And then 2009, they just dropped crazily. And uh, uh, I was forced either dialysis to have dialysis or a kidney transplant. And it's not something you can just ask somebody for, you know, or go down to Shoppers Drug Mart and put a True. prescription in for. Mm -hmm. So I started just looking into options for dialysis because I, it, it's not something you think of asking somebody for. I mean, it's a hard thing. Sure it is. But Bill just... Or for a heart. <laughs> <laughs> or any well, other organ. Well, that's right. That was occupied, but... Uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Right. It's a tough thing to donate. That's right. Yes. But he was, uh, he just stepped up and, and uh, I took all the tests and, <clears> and he was calling the, the you know the the uh, the what the um, transplant unit at at St. Paul's and and just saying you know or the donor clinic or whatever and mm -hmm. saying give me the paperwork give me the paperwork because he knew that I it was best if I avoided dialysis right so. Are, were you the only sibling who stepped up not oh, to no, get well, they all did. everybody did so yeah. all the all the brothers and sisters yes. how many brothers and sisters six brothers six brothers, six brothers. and a sister and yeah. a sister yeah. okay so every Buddy took the test. Were you the only match? Um, Wayne was. I think my brother, uh, next oldest brother, Wayne, right. uh, was also a match. Okay. But I was better looking. <laughs> of course. And, and how did you work that out? So I can hear the phone call, right? Well, hi. We, we love Susan, but who wants to uh, actually go through this procedure and this operation uh, and give up a kidney? Yeah, I, I'm not sure why. I think they just, mm. I was a good match. And, right. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, and they had got the, the test done uh, early. I was uh, making a lot of phone calls, and so mm -hmm. he kept on them because you know how it can it can sort of get lost in in the mm -hmm. red tape. Sure. And, so. What was the emotional ride for you? Uh, there wasn't one. <laughs> really? Just said. No, I... it's just yeah. It was um, you know I don't want to come off as as really brave or anything, but it was just, mm -hmm. no, nope, she needs it, I've, I'm healthy, so let's go. And did the surgeon talk to you about what could happen to you if you give up a kidney, mm -hmm. uh, uh, why we can live with one kidney very well? Oh, absolutely. Or yeah. not? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, No, oh, for sure. I mean, they have an obligation to make sure that you're aware of, uh, of all the, the pros and cons mm -hmm. uh, of sure. it. So, yeah, we went through it. 
well, had I been you, I would have probably made a side deal with Wayne, <laughs> saying, okay, if I give Susan one of my kidneys and one of my, and my only kidney mm. has a little trouble, you're giving me one of your kidneys. Is that a deal? Uh, oh, well, uh, I haven't talked to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure, but you know surgery itself. I don't know how long the surgery is or uh, how well, complicated. It's longer than normal. It's usually about three to three and a half hours. And um, yeah, I think I was about six. You were about six, but they when they when they got it, it was so large that which is perfect for me, perfect for him. You know, it's mm -hmm. uh, it's a, a really good thing because and it was so large that they they had to you know do extra to and yeah. it, little complications, not complications, but right. some people have two. Yeah, they have uh, a vein in an artery or something, um, <laughs> right? For each each kidney. Uh, going in and out, and I guess mine, one of them, I can't remember which, split into three, so they had to do a little reconstruction. Oh, really? So they didn't so, know that before they operated? No, they did. They did. No, oh, they, they did know. They anticipated it. And, oh, that's uh, good. Just, good surgeon. They just, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh he's, he was actually yeah. really good. They, they were quite aware of it, and they um, they just needed mm -hmm. more time, and it's, uh, well, we're not going to rush this, so. Sure. Just now, how does it work in the actual hospital? Are you both in together, like no. I've seen the movies, where you <laughs> have the sister and the brother in the same room. Holding hands. Holding <laughs> hands. As they go no. Or the man no. and the no. wife. And I'm sure it's much more technical than that. It yeah. doesn't do that. They, they brought Bill in first, and because if, you know, if, if there was something that they didn't anticipate and it wasn't, they didn't, wouldn't want to have me there and not you know, and be ready for the kidney and it's not there. Okay. You know. So um, they, mm. they make sure that it's all ready. Sure. You know, as it is because uh, men tend to, <laughs> but sorry, men, <laughs> men tend to gather um, a lot of fat around their kidney. So they had to clean up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not they, Slim Bill. Well, I don't know. <laughs> and it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. They said he has the, you know, his body is like Healthy, a 25 year old. Kidney. Kidney. Well, yes. Well, I know about that, but, uh, you know, I have a few extra pounds, but... Um, <laughs> Don't we all? I'm healthy, so. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. And your kidney was healthy, most and, importantly. And the kidney was And healthy, it was bigger. So. Now, I know neither of you are doctors, but mm -hmm. can you trim a kidney down? Or, no. Or, no. 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 No, and actually it's better if it's bigger. But his, his left kidney, uh, normally they take the left kidney, you'll put it in your right side. They took his left kidney, but it was so big they had to put it in my left side. Because on the right side, you've got your liver and your all kinds of other right. stuff in there. So so they had to put it in this side. But we called him Wilson. You my named new, the yeah, kidney. My kidney is Wilson. So, oh, <laughs> that's great. Why Wilson? Well, my brother Bruce actually named him. Uh, mm -hmm. Him. <laughs> he didn't yeah. want him to, to become, he didn't want the kidney to be dumb, become too girlified, he said. <laughs> right. He said, I took too long to make it a manly kidney. I don't want you to take it and kind of make it a big sissy kidney. So. <laughs> exactly. So I named him Wilson. I figured that was a good start. Wilson <laughs> is a good name, good yes. strong name for that kidney that yes. saved your life. Yes, it, it did. It, it, it renewed your life. Yes. But it probably also saved it in the long run. I don't know how long someone can be on dialysis. It depends. Right. You know, it's but not it, good it's, for you. It's not good for you right. at all. It keeps you alive, but some people mm -hmm. can't even make it through the dialysis. It's it's really hard on right. your Right, and your they body. now have it at home, don't they? Yes. Can't you yes. take a, the machine home and, and yeah. do it in the yeah. comfort of your own yes. bedroom? Yes, which, which is better. Mm -hmm. but, but there's uh, not a technician there. I always, the, having done a little hospital time myself. I know. It's always nice to call the uh, night nurse. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I can't do. That. I know. Well, I mm. you, I know exactly what you mean. When you're hooking you yourself mean. up to something, I would I know. think. I was nervous about that. Mm. You know, I was making all these plans, which and there's several or a couple of different kinds of dialysis you can do too. Right. And, and uh, are there? Uh, I know there's waiting lists. Of course, there are waiting oh, yes. lists. But mm -hmm. if you go on a waiting list, what's uh, the length of time? Do well, you the know? last I heard was seven years. And uh, there just aren't enough donors. There right. just aren't. Uh, there are so many people, and and I. After going through this, I was not unlike anybody else. I knew nothing about kidney disease or kidney mm. failure. I didn't know about, I didn't even know anybody who had right. kidney problems. But were you an organ donor? Yes, I have been an organ donor. Yeah, now me too. Yeah. It's on our driver's licenses now. Uh, yeah, and yeah. it is for mm. me too. Uh, but it's, it's not the preferred, uh, from a medical perspective, my understanding is not the preferred way to get a, 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 an organ from a deceased donor. 
Oh. Well, not the not, it's not preferred, although it does save your life. But there's sure. my particular. I mean, this is why I'm. I feel so lucky because mm. everything went right for me. I mean, aside from my kidneys failing, but um, mm. a, a sibling is the ideal. Is the ideal it is. recipient, or he also is. a live donor? Yeah, no, it is. without that kidney, we've made you <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <No>. unisex. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so it's 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 best if no. it's a sibling, um, or you know, a twin, or, right. or in the family. Mm -hmm. um, it's best yeah. if you don't go on dialysis. Sure, mm -hmm. um, because your body stays well. It uh, does, and it's so hard on dialysis. Is Listen so to us hard. making up the medical <laughs> facts. Uh, sure, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so, why you're an entertainer. Yeah. But there's a lot. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't want to use the word dead time, but you know, if you have a, a deceased donor, uh, when they start, mm -hmm. when they die, right, the, the organs start dying. Sure, so, sure. So when you can. You know, you anticipate when mm -hmm. this, this is all going to happen. Then the That's, kidney is yeah. well, right. And some of us, when we die, <laughs> I suspect our organs will be a bit used up. Well, of course, they have to. Uh, you know, they'll check you out and, mm -hmm. and make sure. And they're necessary, though. You know, it's necessary for people oh, to become donors. Absolutely. Because, uh, but it's just uh, it, if people understood more about being a live donor mm -hmm. and to see that you can be totally healthy and and walking around and. They put him through so much, so many tests. As a matter of fact, he set off the alarms um, during the Olympics because they had to give him, what was that, isotopes or whatever uh, it is. They, something they sh <laughs> something <laughs> radioactive. That, and then he had to go away for two hours, so he went to have lunch with my other brother. And he walked. Down by the Olympics, they were looking, uh, they were concerned, I guess, about dirty bombs, so they had uh, True. radiation detectors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he said it all. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, because you had isotopes. Yeah. Right. Yes, uh, a pre test. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Was it painful for you, like physically painful? Um, the testing? Or? The testing no. and the, or no. the operation, like afterwards? Um, Have you had surgery before? I'm, no, never had surgery. Okay, so first was, time. Yeah. yeah. That's why you did it. <laughs> you didn't know. You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it always hurts a little bit. Oh yeah. Well, right. because they're well, you know I getting mean, in there it, and digging. It, it, it's, it's major surgery, um, so there is a little bit of. You know, I mean, sure. They're all surgery. Right? Downtime uh, and. But, and do you uh, feel any differently physically, without uh, a kidney? Nope. Just the nope. same. I'm just the same. Same you know, energy there's level. There's a recovery period, you know, six to eight weeks for full recovery, they say. It's like any um, operation, really. Yep. Exactly. Um, and I know you feel better. We'll take I'll a break. Okay. <laughs> Come back and talk a little music and a little uh, bit about Susan Jackson Friends for Life.